far bright and new, a glittering place, a shining, shimmering showplace of modern decor. Yet why is a place so modern a place for the past? Why should this brand new London bar so joyfully brim with froth of the naughty 90s? Look a while and detect the ghost of time past. Wonder why the present time is so easy to turn from. In answer, the past kicks its heels and offers you Chester. Chester, just one of England's old, old towns in the gentle grip of time gone by. We're intruders. Today is an intruder that dins its traffic through so much beauty. A longing for the past, the longing for a pace of life that gives the chance to look, to listen, to admire, to learn to love the feel of life. Something that London can bury beneath its clatter. Only a few sad sentimentalists cherish London pride. Cherish the sight even of old street lamps made not for a functional age, but for a time when fairy lights were thought of. Just look at these and merge them yourself with parasols and handsome cabs. Slowly, the dim-lit past of London is being replaced. Slowly, they're taking away those graceful relics of Victorian frippery. But are they gone forever? Will they never be seen again? Oh yes, the strength of sentimentalists is strength indeed. This London firm takes those lovely lamps and returns them to their former glorious state of burnished brass. For there's money in sentimentality and people pay many pounds to remember our lamp-lit yesterdays. There's money in sentimentality. But are these men such realists that money is all that matters? Or are they glad of the chance to work with pieces of the past that must brighten hearts frightened by the gaunt trappings of our modern life? What craftsmanship is here? Would they think of a street light as beautiful today? Would they think of it in anything but the light of today's straight needs? Here, the only concession to today is electricity. All the way to Australia, this lamp will go. But it's not just a down-under set of values that wants them. In England, too, the countryside does them proud. The old lamps of London are leaving for the countryside.